Hello everyone, Jeff and Derek here with A Taste of Whiskey, and we've got a new lineup that I'm really excited to bring in, and this is Pinhook. Pinhook. So, I know absolutely nothing about Pinhook. <laughs> um, I see it. This is why I'm excited. When I, when I found out that Indiana Liquor Group brought this in and was going to let us try it, I see it all over the internet. I see it on Instagram, Facebook, you know, people are trying, people are loving the Pinhook, and I've never had it, never tried it and know almost nothing about it. So this is my chance and your chance to learn about Pinhook. I'm, I'm with you, Derek. I haven't had the opportunity to try these as well. And so when Indiana Liquor Group was gonna bring these in, I was really excited because, well, I was gonna have an opportunity to try them. And so with that being said, I was really excited because this has gotten a lot of buzz on the, on the internet as well. With uh, the, the vertical series that we'll get to and we'll talk about, but the, the, the bourbon and the rise and just what they're doing. And that is their contract distilling out of Castle and Key. So I guess we can start with the rye first. So, so if I come to one of the tastings that it's on the, uh, it's on Instagram, right? Yeah. That's where we find out where the tastings are. Uh, we start with the rye? Yeah, let's go ahead right, and start with start the rye. Yeah. And what's really cool about this is, is their contract distilling out of Castle and Key, which used to be the old Taylor distillery. So it's just kind of cool in itself. But they pick the mash bill, so so uh, Pinhook is actually telling Castle and Key what they want. And really what they're doing is every year, each one of these is a new vintage. So they take basically pick the barrels for the small batch, and then they name it after the actual horse from Bourbon Lane Stable. So hard, these are- Hard Rye Guy. Hard Rye Guy is this one right here for, so this is what, 2021? Yep, so 2021, you've got Hard Rye Guy, and this is going to be a, a mash bill for the rye. It's going to be a 20% corn, 60% rye, and 20% malted barley. So just really cool things coming out of there. It's their own Pinhook's own mash bill, but they do contract Castle and Key to do the distilling. Okay. So they're not actually distilling their own. That's 60% rye you said on this one? 60% rye and then 2020. So that's pretty easy to remember. Yeah. So, um, and this is uh, what, proofed at uh, 98 so just shy of 100. And this is just off the shelf. This is just off the shelf. They're standard. Yes, sir. They're standard rye. Just okay. the standard rye, but only 2021. So again, 2022 is going to be different. Oh, all right. So every yeah. year it could be different. Every year is going to be different. I like that. So let's see where this goes. On the nose, what are you tasting? Or tasting? What are you smelling? Let's see what I taste on the nose. <laughs> oh, this is really different. So I almost get a kind of a, a butterscotch note even with this 60% rye, but- um, I don't get really any rye notes at but all. No rye notes, that's right. Not what I was expecting. Oh, wow. I had no mint, no dill. So again, this is gonna lean more towards the candy. It does, it's almost vanilla -y. Vanilla, -y. Yeah. yes. I do get vanilla, vanilla yes. I, I made up a word. Well, let's go on the, uh, let's see where the, the taste takes us on yeah, this one. Cheers. The nose too. Cheers, Cheers, folks. Mm. So that's really good. <laughs> it's kind of malty. Yes, it is um, just it's candy. Yeah. It's just wow, that's that's got that's almost more of a malty taste um with yeah, with candy. Just a very rich candy sweet Multi note, and that went straight to the back of the palate. You, and I'm still getting those flavors. If you told me, if you let me try this, and you did not tell me that was rye, oh, absolutely, I would not know that was a rye. And I really wouldn't guess it's closer to that hundred proof either. No, that is, that is very, that is very good. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on yeah. this. So hard rye guy, and actually, I've seen some reviews on this. This gets very good reviews. Mm. So now moving on towards the bourbon. So we've got actually two different kinds of bourbon before we get into the special here, and that is the bourbon heist. So again, 2021, so this is gonna be different next year, but the bourbon heist is gonna be a, this, the, the, uh, the, what is that, a peach? The peach label or orange okay. is gonna be at a 98, 98. proof. So we're and gonna go here next. This is gonna be barrel proof. But the bourbon heist, again, is Penhook's mash bill. 
And I actually wrote that down. That's going to be a 75, 15, 10. So 75 corn, 15 rye, and 10% malted barley. So a lot of high malt in both of these. Yes, which uh, I think I like. And so I'm really Based anxious to hear one. this. Uh, again, so this is a little over two years. Just to note on the rye, inaugural release of the rye coming out of Castle and Key. So this is actually the very first rye that has been distilled out of Castle and Key for Penhook. This is actually, I want to say this is maybe the second or third on the bourbon. And this is distilled as well out of Castle and Key. And this is going to be a little over three years, three years and four months, I want to say. I, I, just, I just feel so excited that we got Penhook. Absolutely. Because I've yeah. seen it so I, much. Exactly. Like, Where did I get this pin hook stuff at? I'm going to drive down to Kentucky again. So on the nose on this, so I get a little more of the youth on this, a little more of the grain that's coming through yeah. on this one here. But I think it's sweet. It's more yeah. of a sweet note. It's brown sugar. Kinda. Brown sugar. Mm. That's exactly, the, yeah. That could Ooh. be an air freshener. Yeah. yeah. But for a three-year, four-month, kind of an average, now these are small batches, but man, I'll tell you what, what a nice nose. Let's get to it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, ooh, there's a little bit of a, of a tobacco note on the back end. Yeah. There is. Wow. Um, I was all on the front with all the sweet kind of sugar. Yes. Just kind of. Very much so on the front end. But that it, back. It is sitting there. Yeah. So the malt, the maltiness comes through again with this. And I don't know what they're doing differently, but it's not as youthful and grainy on the uh, palate as you would think being a three year. I, I really like this. I think it's very different compared to some of the other uh, bourbons. And I, I think this is really, I can't wait to see where this is going to continue to go because it's already on a good path. We're, we're going to find out with the 119, Yeah, right? the high proof. Ooh, this so is this nice. is barrel strength then, this one. So the is same that... thing, but this is actually going to be barrel strength. So we're coming in at 119, same mash bill. So this is Pinhook's mash bill. Uh, again, uh, distilled out of Castle and Key. And yeah, let's see where this goes. Mmm. I'll try to get through this quick for you guys. I appreciate you guys sticking with us. This oh, time. yeah. And with Pinhook in general, it's just that every, you got to understand that every year is going to be just a little bit different too. Yeah. So it's a really cool concept, you know, and you're going to know because they name it after a horse or a thoroughbred, really need to specify. Thoroughbred, well. Yeah. So this is going to be the, the high proof. This is the big dog. Um, again, three years. So where are we at on this, Derek? <clears throat> Ooh, the nose is really different. Less grainy on the nose. But not as sweet. Not as sweet. Um, a little fruity. Just a little fruity. Like it's some dry fruit. Yeah. Hmm. Is it is it is it is this the the, the half bruised apricot? The half the slightly <laughs> slightly was, bruised it was a slightly bruised apricot. I, <laughs> I picked out of a pour we had recently. <laughs> Man, I like this. So I, I get more of a light fruit on this. Yeah, this this one is different. It's not as sweet. Mm -mm. Mm, let's see where the where let's see where the palate goes on this, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So it's spicier. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Do you think it had a sweet palate? I felt like it's a little more dry. It almost reminds me like a kind of a dry wine. Yeah. Um, a little more on the fruit side, um, but it's a lighter fruit, like kind of the pears and the kind of the, uh, I, I hate to say it, but the apricots. The apricots. <laughs> well, there it is have more kind of fruit notes to it, which is yeah. so... Strange, because I just expected this to be amped up. Absolutely. More of that sweet kind of brown sugar, Absolutely. caramely. It's not. I don't know. I'm usually always on high proof. Yeah. But between these two, 
And I, I usually like ones that are fruit forward too, yep. but this one, the, I don't When know. you compare the two side know. by side, I really feel like this one's just a slightly better because it's gonna be more sweeter, more of those classic bourbon notes. And this is leaning more towards kind of that, the more light fruit, which I more, I like more dark fruit. Yeah, I, I do too. Next time, you need to try this one first. Yes, yeah, I think so. Which we usually don't go because this one's so. a much higher proof. But again, come to the tastings. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think. Everybody's got a little bit different palate. But now we're on to this, this is, one is special. This right? is really neat. Yeah, they got a they got a kind of a special thing going here with these, right? So if you really want to do something really cool, and if you're into collecting, this is the one you're going to want to collect. This is actually something they started out a couple years ago. And they're really trying to expand this, and they call this their uh, the vertical. And you'll you'll see it right here. It'll actually say the vertical series, and this is going to be aged five years. So they started out with a four year, and this is actually MGP juice, but it's even a weird mash bill. I had to write this one down as well. This is actually a seventy five corn, twenty point five rye, and four point five malt and barley. Well, the first thing I noticed was these said Kentucky. Correct. And this one did not. That's right. I'm like, well, why doesn't that one? It's coming out of Indiana. Right? And so this is actually going to go through a course of up to nine years. So you're going to be able to get this every year. They're going to release a different one. And it's called, it's Bourbon War. So it'll say right there. And it'll say Vertical Series. And it says age five years. And you're going to go all the way up to nine. And so you'll have an opportunity to get, if you've already got the four, that's great. Now you'll start here with the five. So the four then, was the first year. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So it's going to be, it's barrel proof. And this one's at 104 and it's just, it's going to continue to grow. So you'll get to try these same barrels all the way through. 104 so, cents compared to I what think we had here. This one was a little hot for me. Yeah. I'll it's a little honest. spicy. It's a little spicy but for me. Right. But but this one here, I'm I'm really excited because just to see where this is going to go. So it just kind of allows you to kind of sort of have some buy-in with the Penhook name, you know. Yeah. Even though this isn't their distillant, this is actually coming out of MGP. But what do you get on the nose on this, Derek? Ooh, no, so this I is oaky. Yeah, kind of like <laughs> <laughs> this is. Again, completely different. Right, all three of right. these are just, well, all four of them, really. This is nice. So this is that, I hate to say it, but it's really that nice classic MGP nose, yeah. right? Yeah. I hate to completely say that, different. you know, but this is their mash bill. This is the MGP mash bill, but Very this is exactly. nice. Oaky. Oaky. Baseball mitt. Vanilla, caramels, brown sugars. It's got that richness. I feel. I, I. I even smell the richness. I'm. I'm already liking the this. The nose anyway. is just. Yeah. Way above the rest. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go in and let's see where this is going to take us yeah. on the palate. I'm Cheers. feeling pretty good about it. Oh, I don't want to stop smelling <laughs> it. Hmm. That's buttery. That's got some caramel notes. It's not stopping. Yeah. It's continuing to change. That This is really I good. I mean, it's just going. So I, I, I feel like I feel like this is going to be a great vertical, folks. I think that this is a great opportunity. If you really want to get a vertical, this oh is going to be God. a great one to start with. Is the whole vertical MGP? Yeah, it's going to They're be. They're not going to switch over? No, no. This is It's going to stay with this right here. So you're going to oh actually kind of experiment with all these barrels that they're using and just kind of grow this through through up to nine years. So, uh, and I want to say, yeah, this is going to be fifty two ninety nine. dollars 99 The Claw. The claw. <laughs> I'm going to bring out the Claw on this one right here. So with the price and with everything going right on this, and I, I know we're going a little long on this video, but we don't want to, we don't want to short this just to speed it up, but we want to make sure that we give these a fair review. I, Pinhook is doing some great things. I really like what they're doing. This vertical series is excellent. I think it's going to take us to some great places. So again, come try these out. You you got to come. You, you just got to show up to the tasting and absolutely. try these and figure out which one or maybe all four you want to bring home. Because yes, absolutely. you're not going to be disappointed in any of these. Yeah, so I hope to see you guys. Yeah.
Cheers. Cheers.